Hey everyone, Brian here with DIY Outdoor Life. Today, we are taking a look at the brand new EcoFlow Wave 2. This is an air conditioner and a heater designed from the ground up to be run off grid. That means the heat and the cooling come without burning any fuel whatsoever. It's gonna be run off a battery. It can be charged with solar. They have the EcoFlow app that integrates this into all of their power stations and allows you to control the settings remotely. You can buy the expandable batteries or it'll plug into the larger EcoFlows through the same plug that you use through the expandable batteries. This is light years ahead of the competition. I'm excited to talk about a really cool product today, and I'll try to give some information for the beginners that might know not know why this is such a special product. So let's get to it. For those of you who watched my video on the Mark II by Zero Breeze, you know why it's so difficult to make a review video on a product like this. You wanna cast a dragnet wide enough that the beginners can follow along with you, but there's a ton of very technical, highly uh, sophisticated technology that goes into these. I'm gonna try to keep this one beginners friendly and basically give you an overview of a brand new product on the line here. I'm also gonna move fast because it's black fly season here in the Catskills. Now, air conditioning, heating, climate control. This is the Mount Everest of off-grid life. You almost always have to burn something to change the temperature of the environment that you are living in. For heat, you're gonna burn firewood, propane, diesel fuel, and if you need to run air conditioning, if you're in an area where it's just too hot to sleep or it's a safety issue for you, you know that you almost always have to burn a fossil fuel generator to get enough wattage, sustained wattage, to be able to run that device. That's why the Wave 1 and the Zero Breeze Mark 1 and Mark 2 were revolutionary products. They gave you off-grid air conditioning. It was super efficient and they ran on direct current so they could be synced up with batteries instead of needing to go through an inverter. An inverter takes shore power and it turns it to DC, the type of power supplied, electrical force supplied by batteries. Now that might sound technical, but what I'm getting at is that's very wasteful. You waste a lot of what's in your battery by converting it to the alternating current needed for devices like this. So right off the bat, this is a DC device. You don't have that waste that's gonna plug into the efficiency side of the equation. Next, you're looking at a unit that was designed, like its predecessor, from the ground up to do what we're looking to do. But there's been some major, major improvements. This is a 5100 BTU air conditioner, over twice the size of the Wave 1, over twice the size of the air conditioners by Zero Breeze. So that means you're gonna get a lot faster cooling, you're gonna be able to cool larger spaces and get that temperature lower if that's what you're looking to do. The heater is 6100 BTUs, but it's not a resistive heater like those little plug-in ones. This is working like a heat pump. It's achieving that through compression and it's gonna make it a lot more efficient. So you're looking at over twice the capability and a lot more efficient. With these kind of run times, you're looking at the average watt draw of about 145 DC when you are running this off battery. Now, if you have connection to the utility, it comes with a little GFCI AC plug, so you can plug it into the wall and use it that way as well. But clearly this device is designed for the tents, campers, cabins that don't have connection to the utility and don't wanna run the air conditioner, or don't wanna run the generator. You do wanna run the air conditioner. So I'm gonna take you through a couple of the setups to get you started with this device, but we're in the shoulder season of the Catskills. There's nothing fancy I can show you real world for heating and cooling right now. I tested all this stuff on the bench, so for a new product, I'm just gonna show you the basics to get you started here. Let's get to that. Everything about the Wave 2 is meant to be multi-use and very practical to use in a number of different situations, and that includes powering this device. So I mentioned it does have the AC cord included. 
You can purchase the Wave 2 battery sold separately. I'm gonna show you how this clicks into the system. It actually locks in and links in with this cable. Now this battery is gonna last you about eight hours on eco mode. It's 1160 watt hours, so you can do the math there. It's like 145 an hour as far as the watt draw. It is a lithium NMC battery, so it's designed to be portable and light, but that's gonna give you about 800 1C discharges before the battery loses about 20% of its capacity. So that should be a pretty good shelf life for a battery like this, but if you're not an NMC fan, this is the same style of plug that links your expandable batteries to your larger EcoFlow power stations. Plug it in that way and it's gonna run off your EcoFlow battery. Now this is about a 50 volt battery, but it'll run on 48. So if you wanna build your own lithium iron phosphate batteries at 48 volt, you'll be able to connect that too if you're a good DIY person. Now, to hook these together, you just stack it on top. Let me see, my table's a little wobbly. And it locks in place. So now, see if I can demo for you. The battery and the air conditioner connected together. Now you have this little plug. It locks into the side like this. You plug it in and you are good to go. Now with the cable installed, I simply press the on button and I am cooling the outdoors right now. At least it's blowing these mayflies off me while I try to record this video. Now, before we wrap this video up, I wanna go over the most important part about owning a system like this. It's important to just understand the basics. We don't have to get too advanced here, but if you understand how this system works, it's gonna work a lot better for you because it's set up to be run in a bunch of different ways. So you're gonna figure out the screen, it couldn't be easier. The EcoFlow app is outstanding, it works, it's one of the best that I've used. But the basic functionality of this system, you have to understand. There's a blower. It's gonna blow cold air if you have it on AC, it's gonna blow heat if you have it on heat. But there's an exhaust and that blows the opposite because the way this works is it removes heat from the air. So if it's blowing cool air here, it's gonna blow hot air here. And then you have an intake where it draws its new air from. So understanding these three ports is gonna change how you're using this. Let's say that it's hot outside, you want AC, and you bring this inside your camper cabin, whatever it's in. In that case, you don't have to do anything with the intake or anything with the blower. It's blowing cold air out the front and it's drawing already conditioned air in from the back. So it's 90 degrees outside, it's 70 inside your camper. It's drawing in that 70 degree air. It's gonna make it run more efficiently and it's gonna up the performance. It's gonna get colder inside that camper. But you don't wanna blow the hot air inside. You'd have hot air and cold air going into the same space. So you have to exhaust that hot air. So they give you a little shroud like this. It clips in, snaps in like that, and you have a hose. It slinkies out, it clicks in, it couldn't be easier. Now this extends out. Now, they give you a little template. You can run this out the window, but a lot of the new campers actually have those ports for heating and cooling. You saw it on that hiker video that I reviewed. It just unscrews and you can plug something like this in. If you wanna make it yourself, you can adapt this to a bunch of different PVC and septic fittings that come for campers. It couldn't be easier. That's one great setup for this. But what if you wanna use this unit outside? With tiny campers or small tents, it might be more practical to store this unit outside the space that you are sleeping in. That's what makes the app so great and it wasn't available on the other models. You can adjust it from inside your camper even though this is outside. Put it under a canopy or an awning or a tent or whatever. It's gonna make things very, very nice for our little off-grid camper setup. Now, just like you saw with that hiker, there was two different unscrewable ports on that. That's for doing what we would do with this unit. You're gonna click 
this uh, shroud and you're gonna click it over top of the intake side of the unit. You're gonna take the one that goes over the blower and connect it over the blower. Now I'm giving you the full demonstration here. Let's see if I can get it right the first time. And I did. Now, if this is outside your camper, the exhaust is fine to just go outside, but you want the cold air or the hot air to blow inside the camper, but you also want that intake air to be preconditioned. It's gonna make things run a lot better. So you're gonna snap in your hose. That's gonna blow in one port on your camper, and you have the other one that snaps in and that's gonna draw air from the camper to up the efficiency. We don't wanna leave this section off if we're putting this unit outside our camper. You're gonna get so much better performance running these both in. So whether you have the camper with the port or you're gonna create two ports on your camper or run them through the windows, I'm telling you, it's well worth the investment if you live in an area where you can't go camping when it's too hot. Um, most of us, like when I'm traveling, we were going to campgrounds with electricity just so we could run the AC. And those campgrounds, uh, well, they're, they're something for everyone, but they might not be as nice as some of those off-grid sites. So this can uh, bring some of the creature comforts to those off-grid settings. I hope this was helpful. I will do more practical things when it gets real hot out to show you some real world uses for this. I'd like to plug one into that uh, hiker trailer system and show you how quick this cools it down. But that's it for today. Um, I have exclusive promo codes. This product is gonna be released soon. If you uh, want one, I'll have those codes in the description, but I appreciate you watching. See you guys next time.